Great box. What a terrific. Could screw the cue ball back for the brown and green. Just in case. Well, he got a big kick. But the, kick, the red went in. Great shot. Yeah, the cue ball jumped in the air, but the red ran true to the pocket. And he's off again. And now it's O'Sullivan that's getting the long pots. Decided to go into them. Three. Well, this is awkward. The red to the left middle. Cue ball looks to be going into the blue. Good Four. pot. And played it with a touch of stun to get the right side of the blue. Now. Will he decide to open them again or play for that red just to the right of the black? Played for the red to the right of the black. And he could play the right. cannon to those two reds to try and hold for the black. Or he could play up for the blue. Concerned if it's too hard. Fifteen. Sixteen. And now back in prime position. He could play the cannon to those two reds just above the black. But if they go, there's no need to play it. And you can just see how much it really does mean for Ronnie O'Sullivan. All this stuff about coming here to get match practice. He's here to win, because he is a winner. One of the great champions of the sport. Yeah, Back great to... fighters as well. Back to the wall at 3-0 down, but my word, as you say, Joe, come out fighting and, well, he's in again with a chance for 3-3. 31. Yeah, I remember you saying something, I think it was in the, the second 32. frame, where he needed two snookers, he'd been totally outplayed, and yet he still came back to the table, didn't have any chance of getting the snookers, but the intent was there to play on. The thing about that was he was snookered as he came to the table, 59. and sometimes you do see players concede, but no, he gave it his best. 40. Now, all the reds seem to be covering one another. Just one more loose red. Well, depends what kind of an angle 47. he's got. He's okay. 48. But he's not out of the woods yet. May have to play a cannon to the red above the black. Has it worked out? Can you see this red to the middle? 55. Can see the red to the corner. 56. Well, he deserved to be on the red from splitting the plat 
the pack off the black. Well, it looks like we're going all the way, doesn't it? And since going 3-0 up, Karen Wilson has potted one ball. Yes, and it was a pink that he missed after that one ball that started it. 59. So, this red, and it's 3-3. Three, three. What a recovery 66. this has been. Just brilliant. 67. <laughs> Wonderful sneaker. And what did you say, David? I wouldn't be surprised if he made four centuries. Well, every chance of making three now. 74. There's no one quite like him, is there? 75. About a year ago, he was finally recognised in the New Year's Honours list for his services to sport. He's never once been on the shortlist for BBC Sports Personality of the Year, despite his achievements and despite having a personality. 82. Incredible, really. 83. I know one thing, every sport would like to have a Ronnie O'Sullivan. 90. Thanks, well, everybody that's here tonight will remember this night. Ninety-eight. Ninety-nine. So this black then, for three centuries in three frames. Brilliant. One hundred and eight. Such a shame there's got to be a loser in this match because Kyron Wilson played equally well in the first three. One hundred and eleven. Not with century breaks, but he knocked in some great balls. One hundred and fifteen. Well talk about a game of two halves. He's gone from being like a, a man dying of thirst, crawling through the desert, to suddenly discovering an ocean. One hundred and twenty-six. This is as good as it gets, I promise you. So, one hundred and twenty-six to follow the two centuries in the preceding two frames, and in no time. that an attempt to pop the second red by means of that cannon and was it a misjudged safety? Yeah, I think it was the latter, Clive. That was misjudgment. Most unlike John. One. Nine. Eleven. I mean, even Twelve. here, 
Ronnie deliberately working off the black and not the pink. He doesn't want to tie the pink up just yet. Nineteen. Twenty. Seven. Not amazingly well. Twenty-eight. It's been assisted by a lot of mistakes from Higgins. And if the chances keep coming, thirty-five. He'll take most of them, particularly when he's well ahead. Thirty-six. Forty three. Yes, he's given this full concentration. One knows, as Clive mentioned, a five nil lead. I have to think. You're unassailable. 52. Even for John Higgins. 59. Sixty seven. Sixty eight. It's going to be five now. The question is whether it's going to be an O'Sullivan century. 74. He did admit... 76. ...to an ambition to make a thousand centuries before he's done. 79. If he could make one here, it would be number 897. 83. Eighty-eight. Ninety-four. Ninety-four. And he might have wished he had a gone for one because that was with check side and shot not hit hard enough. Also, he caught the red a bit thick. Sullivan traditionally has been deadly in this kind of situation getting in early eight in amongst the Reds black available normally spells trouble with a capital T for his opponent nine a chance to just free the two Reds above the black here little nudge perfectly judged 
and they're both potable. 16. 17. One of his best. He got straight to 24. the red to right corner. 25. Well recovered. 25. 30. 31. Well, surely not. And just on this second, it looked as if the red was going to come in the way. Fifty-five. Still a bit of work to do. Sixty-two. Sixty-three. Seventy-five available. So one, a further red after this black. How he's got on that. <laughs> Tremendous. 70. 71. And there was an air of inevitability about this from the moment that White made the safety error. That's how good O'Sullivan is. Absolutely deadly when he's in amongst them. 76. As good as ever. 77. 23 years ago that he won the first of those 28 ranking titles still 16 years of age when he stunned Stephen Hendrick and announced himself as a quite extraordinary talent 84 and the longevity that he produced in this game despite the strength in depth these days is well remarkable still at his best the man to beat Perhaps not the best 92. right now. John Higgins has been on fire, as we know. The maximum man from earlier. Beat Ronnie in the final of the Champion of Champions. But you've got to think it's only a matter of time before he's lifting a big prize again. It might well be this week in Belfast. This is certainly the proper response to losing that tight opening frame. Century number 838. Well, it's not been easy, this break. There have been moments when he struggled, but the way he started to queue towards the end, I mean, the last red and that black there. It's fabulous ball striking. 114. Both frames have taken a, a similar pattern in that... 116. Jimmy was in a spot of trouble. And uh, Ronnie has taken full advantage of it. First frame in reverse. Jimmy won the safety battle. No huge breaks. But really the scoring power of O'Sullivan is better than almost anybody. I say almost because John Higgins is still playing and scoring very big. But this has been a great break. 128. And it's not been going seven minutes yet. Made a 1-3-1 one, one clearance in just over five and a half minutes against David John in the first round as the whirlwind watches on. 
What a break that was. Sheer brilliance from Ronnie O'Sullivan to level this match. The sublime clearance of that. The thing is, when you're tired, you can't just snap out of it. It doesn't work like that. Oh, he thought that was in. He was walking after it. He's very unlucky, isn't he, to leave it? He's a... Well, that's absolutely perfect if he wants to go into the bunch. He really couldn't have put the ball better with his hand. If he hits the pink full on here, the red should go everywhere. Well, they have gone everywhere, but none are particularly easy to pop. Seven. <laughs> it's one of those shots where even someone as good as O'Sullivan could have no idea where the balls would finish. And this next shot, if he plays a bold colour, is tough. He might be able to lay it behind the blue, but I don't think he's thinking along those lines. If this goes in, he's back in amongst them. Oh, what a great shot. Made to look simple. Yeah, and he's made his mind to attack. If he is Ten. feeling tired, which he seems to be, then he doesn't want to get dragged into scrappy frames and long exchanges. He wants to keep the game moving. That is going to mean taking some on. They're going to be tough, but as you say, he's making those sort of shots look easy. So it could be in this sort of situation with the balls open, he'll feel fine. It's just when frames get a bit fragmented that you might see the tiredness set in. Yeah, I mean, it could only be tiredness because like we're seeing, even... In amongst, you know, one or two signs that he's weary, his game, as we know, is fully there. And the interesting point I thought he made about that was he spoke about laying the foundations to all of this, which started way before his good run in winning in Barnsley when it all started. 18. Playing during the summer, building a, a game that was going to take him right through until Christmas by practising all the shots he needed to practise, all the hours. And since then, it's all been all about matches. And sometimes when you play match after match, it's a little difficult to, to work on your game. But I suppose if you've done the work in the first place, that helps. Yeah, and I think also he mentally committed himself. He said, right, I'm going to play this block of snooker, these three months solid. And he prepared himself for that. As you say, not just his game, but also in his mind. And we've seen the 25. two in concert to great effect. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. I think some players are a little more ad hoc. They'll. I think I'll play this tournament. I won't play that tournament. But O'Sullivan, as I say, just committed himself. These three months, it's going to be snooker, snooker, snooker. And so far, it's been title, title, title. Three of them. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Still, the colours are not easy to get on. Obviously, the pink on the blue spot is all he's got right now. And, of course, the bulk colours. And he's still needing to do a little bit more work. I guess 44. Lee Hang has got to worry about the black being safe and the blue being safe more than Ronnie because he's a few behind.
47. Forty-eight. Fifty-four. Oh, Seventy-five on, but depending on when Ronnie misses, as to whether that will be possible for Lee. That's a good shot. He's potted it and finished just top side. And again, pink will go back on the blue spot. The red still occupying the spot. Not really plain sailing this break, but very well constructed, given that 61. his keyboard's never really been in supreme control. I have to say, Lee Hang was very 62. unlucky to stick the opening red. Play that shot 50 times. You wouldn't stick it very many. It's pretty devastating in amongst the balls right now. 68. 69. So we've seen a, a decent level of form from both players, actually, in the three frames. Must never take Ronnie O'Sullivan for granted, though, as a player, because what we watch 75. day in, day out is quite breathtaking snooker. He won't be playing this game forever, but you do well to see anyone 76. who plays better snooker and more of a delight to watch. He's the kind of guy that will have people in the, the practice room watching the screen, other players watching how he does it. 82. Trying to bring this red out, which he's done. He said on commentary last night, he was in the box, that the thousand centuries does motivate him. He's on 919 for his career at the moment. Oh, hasn't finished well. He was going to make 920. 89. Didn't matter. Yes, and the key to this is that he won't actually require the blue for the century. Even that shot, look how well he's played that. 94. I have to say, as centuries go, this is as good as any. We've not taken the black once in this break. For many periods of it, long periods, the pink on the blue spot was the only big scoring colour. And it seems not very long ago we celebrated his 900th, and as you say, this is 920. It's all come very quickly, isn't it? Well, he looks half asleep <laughs> between frames, but he's joined the Wide Away Club to make a dashing century. Break ends at 103, took just over eight minutes to compile, and a little smile. Well, he's been knocking those in a week, but a barrage of breaks, it's quite difficult. The pockets seem smaller, don't they? Here we go again, maybe. He's already won five frames in this final in which Karen Wilson has not potted a ball.
is just uh, slotting the pink into position behind the pack. Interesting stat, actually, Dave, in the semi-finals and finals. Only one frame of, of all three matches to date where there's not been a break over 50. Uh, the stand is very high, and that goes back to the frame in the match with uh, O'Sullivan and McGill, the frame where Ronnie missed those two blacks off the spot. Sixth frame. Eight. The table's been playing well, but the standard has been extremely high. I think it's been a terrific tournament. And one of the things about the Home Nations events, you get to see so many faces you might not norm normally see in tournaments. Thirteen. Fourteen. Very busy period of the calendar coming up. A lot of torments, and if O'Sullivan can get on a run, who's to say what sort of damage he can do in this part of the season? Just flick the red away from the black there to give himself more of them to play with. 21. Twenty-two. Nine. Thirty. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Three. I think it's get a little bit more difficult now, if that's possible. That's where we'll have to, I think, through what he does next. 44. He's a bit straight on the blue. It doesn't leave all that many options. i better just run through into the bunch. A real queuing shot. It's a beautiful effort. Wow, just an absolute joy to watch, isn't it? And that's such a difficult shot to make the red spread. But the top spin and the other on the ball, the keyboard is accelerated. They're all coming out tonight, Dave, aren't they, all these shots? Well, if you programmed a computer to play snooker, this is how it would play if you programmed it correctly. Pretty much unplayable. Yes, he's actually got an awkward queuing, despite a brilliant shot like that. He covered it very well. You never know what's going to happen next, but it appears that he's on, he's on this surge of form. Give me a second, uh, It seemed enormous to him. I wonder if John Higgins did him a slight favour by winning that tournament in India, just to move ahead of him on the all-time list. I think as O'Sullivan, as his career not, doesn't come towards an end, because clearly it's nowhere near the end, but as he's on sort of the back nine, as it were, he is noticing records more and more, and... Focusing on maybe his place in the game, in the game's history. 57. Now, his place in the game history is right up there. There will always be the debate as to the greatest of all time, and people will always say Sullivan or Hendry or even... 64. ...one of the trophies named after, Steve Davis, but... 65. When it comes to Stephen Hendry, wonderful as he was, he wasn't even a professional or... The age that Ronnie is now, he'd retired from competitive play. So, snooker's required. There's never been anyone as good as this. Don't care what anyone says. Well, I'm with you on that. 73. Well, it'd be just like him to finish with another century, wouldn't it? 80. A proud moment for 80. him to join Higgins on 29 ranking events, going past 81. his boyhood hero Steve Davis to collect the Steve Davis trophy. He was in a bit of hibernation earlier in the season while everyone else was playing. He wasn't playing in tournaments. 
but he's back and well is as good as ever Yes, these home nations events last year proved very difficult to win, difficult to predict who'd win. For the tournament favourite winning it. 94. Mark Selby was high in the, the list of betting for, from the sponsors, but the fact is, despite it being seven matches and best of sevens for a few days, the class of O'Sullivan has come through all of that and he's come from a difficult draw and right now, at this moment in time, he looks to be playing snooker in a league of his own. Yes, fourth century of the final to win the championship. Corin Wilson had one of his own, but what are you supposed to do against an O'Sullivan in this sort of form? Final thing I'll say, Dave, pot success in the final. 98% pot success in the best of 17 frame final. That's that alone is all you need to know. Yeah, quite incredible. B2 to finish. Great pot. What a terrific pot. Just to let Karen Wilson know that he can get them too. It was a great break off. It was a great red. No. Sixteen. Seventeen. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Didn't have the angle to come back down for the black. But played onto the blue very nicely. And that's worked out beautifully. Beautiful. Thirty-one. Thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. Well, he knows that he needs to produce something here. This is a great chance to win this frame very swiftly. Just remind Karen Wilson the match is not yet over. Yes, he'll 46. stay focused. Forty-seven. But if O'Sullivan can win the frame at one visit, just may make him think a little and he can't afford to let up in any way, shape or form. Fifty-four. Fifty-five. Sixty-two. 
63. Still needs another red after this black. Well, he's being forced into playing 70. his best stuff. He needs this really for the remainder of the match. 71. Yeah, you can't keep knocking great balls in. That was a terrific red that he knocked in right at the beginning of this break. But if that's what he's got to do each time, it's a big ask. Here this it is. is. 78. And that's the red. 79. frame has been going just five minutes eighty four eighty five obviously can't make the highest break which is one four seven John Higgins but this will make him feel a lot better ninety two 93. My word, he needed this century to get himself going after having been outplayed for most of the evening. 101. And it's been made in the blink of an eye. 108. Break ends at 108. That frame took six minutes. 